it's uh, Victoria at uh, Be Tranquil Holistic Therapies and I hope this evening is finding you all well. Um, after last week's uh, live, um, I was uh, delighted with uh, the response I got. Apparently I touched a nerve with quite a few people uh, needing to hear that message that in this uh, time of um, uh, uncertainty and lockdown people needed the message that they are actually good enough and they are doing good enough and probably are being more than good enough um so that that was re really really uh, really really pleased about that so this week's topic is um, I'm moving on a little bit now we're all feeling good enough or um, more than good enough uh, moving on to positivity um, you may wonder uh, why I've chosen positivity because people might not think we're living in a very positive time. Like I said, um, we've been we've had new messages from the Prime Minister. We're still really not sure what to do, what we're doing. It looks like the kids aren't going to be back or main, main school's not going to be back until uh, September. It's still all up in the air and I don't know about you, we are starting to feel uh, feel um, the effects of lockdown now. You know, Caitlin and Ben are missing their friends, missing the social interaction with other people. Um, so what, how can we look for positivity? So that's what I'm um, look, looking at this week. Sorry, my <laughs> cat is just deciding whether to join in as well. So um, today's post walls create a joy list um, I've done this with a couple of people um, a coach friend that I know um, Emma Kate Dawson excellent look her up on Facebook uh, she uh, did a mindset course last year and in it we had to find things that made us happy and also I'm a big fan of um, the author and well-being lifestyle guru Rachel Hollis. Uh, she has written a girl uh, stop apologizing and girl wash your face and she picks up on the same idea of having a joy list. What we're trying to do at this time is find little bits to remind ourselves there still is a lot out there that we have to be grateful for that we have to, that we have, you know, that it, that is lovely. The big picture, the big picture that we cannot affect, it, it is affecting us. So we've just got to switch off. We've just got to find those pockets, those little nuggets that can change our perspective. So my joy list, uh, things on there are, wait a minute, excuse me. What did I write? Things on there like sitting in the garden in the sunshine, which we were able to do a lot Friday and Saturday. Um, enjoying that. Oh, uh, having a tidy house. Well, maybe work on that. Sitting on a balcony on holiday. Candles. Writing letters. Going to the theatre. Uh, cuddling my children. Walk on a beach. Reading. Um, a nice glass of wine. Um, I can't do all of them. Walking on a beach um, may be a possibility in the next couple of weeks. Um, but I can definitely sit in the garden. Um, might not be able to sit on a balcony. But what is it that I like about sitting on the balcony? It's that rel relaxation, that end of the day. So just switching off. Um, I can read. I can go into a quiet corner and read and I can sit and enjoy a, a nice glass of wine. So there are things in my joy list of what uh, that I, I can still do. Um, obviously going to, oh, I've just seen one. Lovely, beautiful notebooks. Who doesn't like a bit of nice stationery? So you may think, well, there's not a lot we can do, but we can, you know, it's going back to the simple things. Um, so that's what uh, we're looking at this week, um, finding the positive and it might just mean looking closer to home, 
but it's there it's there however deeply hidden um, so tomorrow I'm gonna uh, give you some ideas on how to use that positivity that may influence other people I have a positivity blend later in the week and uh, share your ideas as you go around now looking for positive things uh, let me know what you find oh one, one other thing that I've forgotten um, is uh, writing a gratitude journal writing five things that you are grateful for and it just again it's just that little idea of um, you know things aren't as bad as what it may seem you know get rid of that bigger picture the bigger picture that you can't affect start looking for the little things that we can affect and there is a lot of joy out there um, there is a lot of things to be grateful for and doing this uh, changing that perspective hopefully will help us all to start feeling that little bit better so I think that's it for me and um, if you have any hints or tips you'd like to share um, leave them in the comments and I will see you next week bye for now